Hi, my name is Apostle Mark Anthony Chukuma. Thank you and God bless you for commenting on my last video, liking, subscribing and sharing. I'm grateful and today I'll be teaching you strictly straight on signs you have prophetically gifted. Seven or eight or nine signs that you are prophetically gifted. Remember I said prophetically gifted. That is the signs that you are called to be a prophet or signs that you are prophetically gifted. One of those signs is you long for a deeper relationship with God. You hunger for it. Yes, that's number one sign. You always hunger for a deeper relationship. You want to pray. You want to know God more. You want to connect. Like everything about you. Every time you're on the phone, you're talking about God. You're searching the angels, knowing the history of God, how God existed, everything. You just, you are making research. Your room is filled with research papers and the rest. You hunger for it. You desire. You study the world day and night. You want to know God. Everything about God. You are done with the Bible. You're still looking for research. For the ones who are which is not written in the Bible, you are trying to find the books that are out of the Bible. You always hunger for a relationship with God. You pray every moment. That is number one sign. Number two sign is you always are attracted to the prophetic. Yes. Every time you watch the TV, you see a prophet, you say, Wow, I love this man. I want to be like him. You are attracted to the prophetic. Whatever that has to do with the prophetic race is just giving you this goosebumps, you, you love it, you want to be like this, you want to you see a man of God calling names, I'm seeing this, I'm hearing the name called Linda, who is Linda, who is Peter, I'm seeing you in the US, I'm seeing you getting a job, I'm seeing your visa come, and you are like, wow, you love this, you love this, all other people are just there to take their home, you, you are there to say, you, you are. people's mindset is, they are looking at the prophet, the prophecy going on, and they are like, ah, my own tongue, my own tongue, call my name, you, your home is, you love the grace, you love the gift. Guy, I wish I could be like this man. I just love this gift. This is what I want in my lifetime. No. You are gifted. For you to love that gift, to love what that man is doing, to love what you are seeing, is the spirit in you is saying that you are gifted. It's a sign that you are already caught. But there's a time for you to manifest. It's a process. It's a stage. The third one is you get confirmation from confirmation from people you prayed for. Wow! This one is very, very important. For people you share the word of God with, just meet people along the line. You pray with them in school. You pray for someone. He said, how are you saying, what's the problem? He said, there is no finance. I don't know my school fees. Half is many half of the money. is 60,000. I paid half last month. And I call my father. He does not have the money. I don't know what to do. I'm just tired. I don't want to lose my exam. Let me pray with you. Pray with the person, you read the word of God, you tell him where God promises about every word we say to him, he will bring it to pass. That is the one who gives it riches, he's the one who gives it wealth, he make it rich, he make it poor. You give him the passes the scripture and you pray for this baby. You say, Father, I pray for the daughter that from now till for eight hours till the week is over, any men across the world from the east, west, north, and south, and let them bless her life with her desire for the money for the exam to come and to pay us for this in Jesus name and she said amen after a few days she calls you and said ah sir wait, my uncle called me and gave me that money wow I'll be grateful no it's not just it's not a mistake it's a sign that you have prophetically called in the office of the prophet to serve God but you don't know if, if you know there is a process a stage you must go to a training go to. Yes, I call that the school of the spirit. You must go through it. You must be trained on how to, you know, character, ethics, prophetic characters, prophetic ethics, a lot of things. You must, you must pass through these things, but I'm not telling you the signs to know that you are prophetically gifted. That's my own message to me. So another one is, you have love for everyone. You have love for everyone. You have prophetic values. You also have prophetic values. Yes. Oh, can someone ask me what is prophetic values? You, you, you experience it. You, you have a lot of it. Trials, persecution, rejection. You are hitting, hated, mocked, 
mockery. You know, these are prophetic values. Though these things are not ordinary, they are values. The more these things are coming up in your life, the more the grace is increasing, the more heaven is announcing you, the more things are happening around you, the more the light in you is shining, the more you are being attracted closer to God. So without these things, the prophetic cannot stand. These are the things that nails it, that that hammers it to be who, what you what you will be. So if these values are not there, it cannot work. We call it prophetic values. It's, it is value. It is valuable to the prophet, but for another man, it's not valuable. So that's why you see some men of God today. That's why you see Christ. Bible says, even in his own time, eh, nobody knew him because they say that. He, when he does miracles, signs and wonders, nobody, they don't, they don't, how would I call it, they don't see it like it's something. Okay? So he has to leave his hometown to go to Jerusalem to go and preach the gospel. He left, went far away from his hometown. His hometown, they, they, they did not see the value. He was not valued today. He was hated. Even in Jerusalem, he was hated, tried. And if he does a man, they will say it's the best, best book. If you raise the dead, they will say it's uh, Lucifer. If you do, if you cast out demons, they will say he's using power of the water. Cast out demons. So he was hated for what, for what he, he for what he was doing, for what God has called him to do. He was hated, he was rejected, he was tried, he was dejected, he was mocked. A lot of things happened to him. So this are That was why he was able to finish up the ministry. So without these things, as a prophet, as an apostle, as a prophet, you must have these values. If they are not around you, just know that there is nothing. There is not a sign. Nothing is happening around you. So that's not. That's another sign. Another one is you must have love for everyone. You have love for everyone. You just find that you just develop this agape love for everyone. You just love people. You go to their home. You ask them how far you help them when you can help them. You pray for them. You know, you, you you are always be around them to you make those people who are, who are not happy, you make them to be happy. You increase their faith, you preach to them about God. You, you just love people, you just love people. You don't, you, don't, you don't see anybody different from what you see yourself. The way you love yourself, that's how you love. If you even love people more than you love yourself. It's a sign that you are called to be a prophet. There's a prophetic, you are prophetically gifted from God. Because one, one of the anchor, the principle of a prophet, what makes a prophet, one of the anchor, the principle that every prophet must lie upon is love. That is the summary of a prophet, love. Another one is, you find yourself in circumstances where a word from God is needed. Let's read 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 11. Jehosh, the, the, the king called Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord that we may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha, the son of Shaphat, Shaphat, who poured water on the hand of Elijah. You find that God will bring in a problem around your life that man cannot solve. You need the word of God, a prophet. Just a word, and when that word of God comes to your spirit, or when you meet the prophet and he prays for you and declares the word and say, Thus say the Lord, that problem will die off immediately. It's a sign that God, you are prophetically gifted because the problem that comes has to be solved through a prophet, <laughs> through a gift that comes from the prophet. Yes, so whenever you see you yourself having second. Being in a certain some conditions or circumstances that only a prophet can solve, or only the word of God, the Bible can solve, the word of God can rectify, or the prophet can settle. You know that you yourself there is a seed of the prophetic in you that is about to come. And the last one, not the least, you are always dreaming. And when you dream, your dream comes to pass. This is very, very important. You are like Joseph. You dream. You dream if you dream where you see somebody having an accident and you, you wake up. How you, you dream if someone had, had an accident and you saw the dating happen. You call the person and say, Sister, 
Please don't go. I see accident. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Please don't go. I see accident. Don't go. Don't go. And he tells me my brother go and see that. What are you telling me? And the person goes, travels, and accidents happen. And the person breaks his leg or his hand, and, and they call you that. That thing you told about, you told my sister happened to her. She had an accident yesterday. You dream. You see where somebody got a job, and you call the person and say, sister, I'm seeing a job. But they'll give you a job. This, I'm seeing a job this week. And the, that week came and that girl got the job. So when you dream and you see the dream comes to pass, the dream just begins to manifest, just as if, even if you dream it in a wrong, in a, in a playful way, the thing will appear manifest in a playful way. <laughs> it's a sign that is a prophetic gift. Mm. Thank you so much. I think I'll be able to convey a message to you. Okay. So before you leave, like, subscribe, comment, and share. God bless you, love you so much. Please, in case you need any direction on something on my description box, on the description box, you will see my contact there. It's also on WhatsApp. You can reach me through that contact. And also, you want to support man of God, I want to support what you're doing. I love what we want to partner with you. I love what you're doing. Because we need a camera, we need a table, we need a, a laptop, a small laptop, we need a lamp, light. We need a, a, a cotton stand, we need all these things in So in case you want to support in one way or the other, God bless you. On the description box, you will see those who are outside the country, Western Union is allowed. Those who are in Nigeria here, the description box, the details are there. Go there and you will be directed on what to do. Thank you. God bless you. Love you. See you next time.